Hello, this is Mark LaRochelle from ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. Thanks for joining us on this video. If you are interested in learning more about the Claris platform and you are now just beginning your journey, then this particular course excerpt might be of interest. Here we take an extract from one of the lessons in the full course. The name of the full course is called Claris FileMaker Pro Beginner, and it begins your journey to learn the Claris platform. In particular, FileMaker Pro, also known as Claris Pro, is what the focus is. This lesson, features working with symbols on layouts and the different things you can do with the symbols, whether you merge data or just interject status information on your layout. These symbols come in very handy and this lesson will teach you all about that. So if you want to find out more, go to ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. Visit us. The name of the course is called Claris FileMaker Pro Beginner. And remember, if you watch this video, there are two others just like it here on YouTube taking free excerpts with actual lessons from that course for you to enjoy. Thanks for joining us, and now on to the lesson. In this lesson, we talk about inserting special symbols in layout mode so that they can be used in browse mode. So let's take a look at our PCU Gaming Company file. I'm going to jump into layout mode here. I've reduced my body so that it fits nice and neat on one single page or on one single screen here. I've also removed all the items from the layout just to start with a clean slate. Under the menu insert, you'll find several things. First, I want to draw your attention to the ability to insert the current date, along with the current time, along with the current username. So here are three things that you can insert. They are sort of hard-coded in real time. In other words, these aren't dynamically going to change when the date changes or when the time changes. They're fixed in time here on this layout. Really, this just saves me from having to type it manually. I think you would use a feature like this more, like if you were making a quick report and you were editing that report in layout mode and you wanted to quickly insert the date or the time or the user, you could do that with this handy option here. Note that the username has to do with what you'll find for the username in preferences. So if I jump over to preferences quickly, it's using this username, not to be confused with the account name which is the account you use to log in. All right, let me remove those from the layout. Next, we have symbols. The date symbol looks like this. It's got some curly brackets on either side, and then the word current date. This is a reserved word that the layout knows, and it's dedicated to putting in a dynamically calculated date in browse mode. Here in layout mode, we see it as current date, but in browse mode, we see it as an actual date. You'll note that we're seeing multiple records here. I'm just going to delete this one record so that we only have one thing to look at at a time. I just want to avoid any possible confusion on that. Back to layout mode. Let's insert some more symbols. I have a time symbol. And let me do one more. I'll do the username symbol. So now in browse mode, these will dynamically calculate. Notice that it's 11.04 in 10 seconds AM. Go to layout mode, go to browse mode again. Now it's 11.04 in 16 seconds. So these will change. Now you won't see it count down like that because these only get evaluated once when you head into browse mode or when you browse records. Like if I were to omit this record and then bring it back, it will update. The other important point to note is that they're able to be formatted and you can use them to merge inside an existing hard-coded sentence. This is your username, like that. And if I wanted to put this in bold, I can do that, like this. Let me bring this over here to the left. And now I have the hard-coded text along with the dynamically changing text specific to the user in this case. Or, same idea, you could say, and then put in the current date here. And then you could say the time is, and do it that way. Because this gives you a result of a dynamic date, you actually have options to do data formatting. So if you come over here to this fourth panel, you can format this as a date however you'd like. So if I want the full date, just make sure that you have enough room to display it. You may have to extend the field boundaries so that it fits all the data. But if I go back into browse mode, now my date is fully extended based on the format. Same idea with the time. So you can format this however you like. Much like you can with fields, we already learned about formatting fields using this option. But you can also do this with the merge fields or with these inserted symbols. 
And another note about formatting merge fields or this text and symbols is that you really only need to worry about the formatting of the very first character. This first symbol will indicate the formatting for the text. For example, notice how I'll leave this first curly bracket bold and this size. Then I'll make the rest of this smaller. Yet, the merged data still appears to be the formatting for this first curly bracket. This helps if you're tight on room, or if you're using a merge field with a really long name, formatting just the first character in its current size in the desired size and properties, then making the rest of it smaller so that it fits better on the layout. Okay, let's continue on with inserting some things. So that's date, time, and username. Let's take a look at page number symbol. This will indicate the page that we're currently on. This won't appear in browse mode, but it will appear in preview mode. So if I preview this now, it'll show me that this if printed, will be page one. And that'll follow your page numbers based on your preview mode and when you print. Then we have the record number symbol, which is the record number in the current found set. So because I have one in the found set, this is currently record one. Then I have a whole series of other symbols here indicating all kinds of current statuses and states. If I wanted to present the UUID, for example, now we haven't learned UUID, what it is, or how it works, but if I wanted to present that on the layout for browse mode, I could do that. When I go back into browse mode, there's my UUID. So feel free to have a look at all the different things you can insert with this other option. It's quite a few, some of it very handy. Okay, and then finally we have merge field which this time brings up a specify field dialog box. If I wanted to put a merge field of last name here, notice that it puts in these chevrons, left two left chevrons, two right chevrons, and then the last name. This has the same features and properties where if I format the first symbol or the first character, I can do that. So there's my last name. Now notice it's cutting off and that's only because my field dimension isn't wide enough. So there's my last name. And then I can make this as small as I want. And it'll still format to that first character. So merging fields is very handy because let's say you wanted to merge something specific when you print it or when you go save as a PDF. You could say um, hello and then insert a merge field. First name, comma, the current date is. Then we'll insert the date symbol. Put that in bold. Then let's insert a symbol. I'll do the other symbol and we'll just say found count. How about that? And we'll say there are a total of colon records found. If you were reporting on the number of records found, there are a total of one records found. Obviously you'd have to put this formatted so that it could be either one record or multiple, like that. Notice how the merge field is formatted different than the symbols. The last thing on this list is the merge variable. We haven't learned about variables, but this is a handy and convenient way to insert your variables, assuming you have them. If you're storing variables or calculating something special you want to appear in the layout, you can insert the variable with this convenient option. And that takes care of inserting special characters and symbols and merge fields here on our layout for use in viewing in browse mode. Thanks for joining us on this lesson. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one.